Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21 Stable. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to start a new series here on the stable version of the game. Uh, I actually have several more episodes of the experimental branch that I pre-recorded, and I'm going to continue to publish those until we get all the way to Horde Night 35. Um, and then at the end of Horde Night 35, then that series will end because I've pre-recorded all the way up to that point. And that's going to run until the latter part of July. So there's a lot more to come on the experimental uh, series. But I wanted to start over when Stable came out for a couple of reasons. One is that, um, you know, we started on experimental and then they came out with a couple builds. And one of those builds broke the save and I had to tweak some things. And I just want to make sure that we're starting fresh on a fresh save with Stable. Uh, but the other reason is that I want to do something a little bit different this time. Um, and basically what I want to do is I want to play a, more of a wilderness oriented and ranger build type of playthrough just to do something a little bit different. And uh, so as part of that process, we're going to go to new game and we're going to generate um, a random uh, a random world here. And I was kind of tw uh, tweaking with some of these settings here um, earlier. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll put it in a world seed of 1967. I'm going to make this a 10K map. Uh, so if anybody wants to, uh, you know, build a map similar to mine and kind of play along, you're certainly welcome to do so. Um, so for towns, we're going to just have a few towns um, because, again, I want this to be more wilderness oriented. Uh, I wish we could make it to where you could just have one town, but, you know, it, it doesn't give you that option. We need, we need at least one town uh, because I still want to have some access to traders though i'm not going to be real trader and and uh job focused in this playthrough um but to compensate for only having a few towns we're going to have a lot of wilderness pois because we need the pois to get plastic to make the dew collector and you know to get water and that sort of thing um we're gonna I, i'd like this to have lots of rivers and lots of lakes but no craters or cracks okay uh, so that's going to be kind of the train now for this, uh, I want this to be a very mountainous map. I want very few hills um, um, and about 20% plains. And I think what this will do when it generates is it'll it'll make mountains and valleys um, with, with few hills. Okay, so yeah, we'll, so it's going to be a very mountainous map, uh, a few plains, so we have some valleys um, and just a, a, few, a, a, a little bit of hills. Now, as far as this goes, I want this to primarily be a forested map. Um, we'll have we'll have a little bit of desert and a little bit of wasteland, maybe like 11%. And, you know, I don't mind a little bit of a snow biome too, so I mostly want it to be a pine forest map. All right, so it's going to take my uh, rig about 12 to 15 minutes, I think, to generate this. So let's generate the world, and then when the world is ready... Um, I'll show you guys a quick preview of the map. I'm not going to study it too closely myself because I want to, you know, kind of discover those things. Uh, and then we'll go through the settings and then get started. So I'll see you here in just a bit. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Uh, so here's the map here. Uh, we got the snow in the north, the forest in the south. And then in the center of the map, we got a little bit of desert, a little bit of wasteland. So that looks pretty good. Uh, looks like we do have two really large cities in the snow biome um, and a smaller kind of town in the in the forest biome. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to study that really closely, but that just gives us kind of the general idea of what the map looks like. All right, let's go ahead and start a new game here. Um, we'll we'll keep this as o, um, OG A21S for stable, I suppose. Um, so let's do our settings. We are going to do my typical 90 minute days there. Um, we're going to put this on insane uh, because I like to play on the hardest settings with this game. Um, and then, right. Okay. Let's go to basic. Uh, as far as the blood moon goes, I think we're just going to keep that on the default seven days. Um, the blood moon count. Uh, let's try 64 enemies, but if, if that starts tanking my computer, um, on horde night, so I might have to turn that back down. Uh, we're turning all the zombies up to nightmare speed. Um, <clears throat> feral sense is on only at night, making nights extremely dangerous. Uh, we're not going to adjust any of that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to make... We're not going to do any loot respawn. 
or chunk resets. Drop everything on death, drop nothing on quit. Enemy spawning's on. I am going to go ahead, uh, because this is a wilderness playthrough and we're not going to spend a lot of time in towns, um, and I'm, I'm going to do minimal trader. I, I might not even do any jobs at all for the traders. I might just use them as traders. Um, so to compensate for that, I'm going to go ahead and do airdrops. Now I don't normally do airdrops in my playthrough, but because this is a little bit different, you know, than, you know, my typical playthrough, uh, I think we will keep the airdrops on. However, I'm not going to mark them. So when an airdrop happens, um, and you know what to let's make this every seven days also. Uh, so when an airdrop does happen, we have to find it, um, like old school seven days to die. Okay. Well, you know, where this is going to help us the most is in the very early game. So maybe I will keep that back. Airdrop every day. Wow, really? Hmm. That seems a little too much. So, yeah, let's just do it every three days. Okay, so I think that takes care of all of our settings. We don't care about the multiplayer stuff or anything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and start up the game and get started with this wilderness playthrough. Now, let's talk a little bit about some other things. Um, I'm going to... This is going to be a focused agility build, so um, knives are going to be our main melee weapon. Uh, bows will be our main ranged weapon. I don't, uh, I'm not opposed to using guns, though, uh, you know, getting rifles for hunting, that sort of thing. Um, but what I think I'm going to do also that's going to be really unique to this playthrough is we're going we're gonna to outlaw vehicles, including the bicycle. So this is going to be a total on-foot uh, playthrough we're not going to use vehicles at all and so yeah the, uh, other than that um i'm i'm gonna also have a self-imposed rule that we can't live in a town okay uh we have well obviously because it's a wilderness playthrough so and we're probably going to start our at least our initial base um as a cave and I might, which we might expand into a really elaborate, uh, essentially underground base. Um, or I might actually build a, an actual structure, um, like a cabin. Um, but I don't think we're going to base, uh, at least not permanently, uh, we're not going to base in a POI this time like we did in the uh, experimental playthrough. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and get started with the opening quest here. I'm just going to bust through these really quick so we can get our first four points and then we'll go from there. Okay, I crafted, uh, oh nice, very nice find. Uh, I crafted the uh, campfire too soon, so I had to redo it, but not, not a big deal. Okay, so um, we got gathered uh, a few extra stones and uh, wood and that sort of thing uh, to get us started here. And um, let's just take this back down here to get the resources back from it. We're gonna directly head for the trader. Uh, because I want to uh, loot their place and hopefully we can find some extra water and a cooking pot before we uh, do anything else. Well, no, actually, before we even do that, we need to do our points. Okay, so let's take a look at our points. Um, yeah, the trainer's uh, fortunately not too far away. Uh, so we're going to go here and like I said, we're going to focus on agility primarily, but that doesn't mean we won't do other things too. Uh, the one thing we are going to do right now, though, is we're going to take Master Chef, um, just because that's going to help us with cooking. And then everything else we're going to start with is going to be in agility. So we're going to do uh, from the shadows. We're going to do uh, archery, 
and deep cuts uh, to get us started with here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start moving towards the trader here. And we'll just kind of keep picking some things up as we go. Uh, we want to make ourselves a bone knife. Uh, I think we need five. Yeah, we need five. So one more gut pile, and then we, sh we should be able to make our bone knife and be ready to go there. Just kind of he keep hitting those. If you're wondering why I uh, destroy or hit the rocks rather than pick them up, if I pick up a stone, I get no XP for it. But if you break a stone, you get a little XP for it. So that's why I do that for anybody that might be wondering. All right, let's just keep going along this way as we move towards the trader. I did uh, luck out and got myself a honey too. We don't care about that uh, right at the moment. Um... If we, yeah, I don't think we need those right now, too. Okay. Um, and actually, we don't need th that right now, either. We will collect that stuff later when we start doing a garden, but uh, we just don't need it right at the moment. we got to prioritize. We'll take that to sell. We'll take, well, actually, let's take all of that, because if we get enough lead, we can even sell that uh, for some extra coin. Uh, we are going to be getting out of our starting area. So, uh, yeah, seeds are very precious in Alpha 21. Uh, so we're going to pretty much keep almost any seed we come across. But I think that'll be less of an issue for us, you know, once we put po more points into living off the land, which will be on the to-do list. All right, so let's scooch on up over the top of this mountain. Uh, we do need to be uh, very careful of Zeke's because we're getting out of our starter area, which means they're going to start spawning in sooner than they otherwise would and this is very very dangerous terrain for us to be in uh, to be fighting a nightmare speed zombie so let's just be on our toes um, if we get into trouble i have the bedroll oh you know what though never mind uh, we don't have to actually have to plop a bedroll down quickly anymore because now we have the option of spawning near our backpack which is really nice um, it's still probably worth it to put a bedroll down um, because when you spawn near your backpack, you're not like right next to it. You're still kind of far away from it, but uh, much better than it used to be. Okay, so there's our trader down there, which is great. You know, and, and the other thing too is because, uh, yeah, see there's a crawler right there. Let's go ahead and kill him for the XP because he'll be an easy kill. Um, But... Not, uh, you know, not using vehicles is going to definitely be conducive to this mountainous terrain, too, for us. So, all right. Okay, we got our first Zombo kill. Get our arrows back. Uh, there's a chicken. That is a long ways off. Let's just try a long shot here. Nope. <laughs> he's jumping up and down. I don't know why he's jumping up and down. All right, let's try this. A little higher. Look at that. <laughs> we, we nailed him while he was still jumping up in the air. Okay. So I think hopefully we'll get a bone off one more bone. Yeah. Okay. Now we can make the kniffy. This, like I said, it's going to be our main melee weapon. Um, I don't even want the club. Okay. Let's um, hit these stumps for wood and a chance for more honey. Cause God knows we're going to need it. Good, we got two honeys. So wait, okay, there's a, a Marlene over there. She's pretty quick, but not the fastest. But we need to be careful. Let's grab this. There's another chicken way over there, but I want to get to the trader. Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so we still have plenty of daylight left, but I just want to... Uh, should we go after that chicken? No, let's not. Let's get to the trader first. And hopefully... I heard something over there. Hopefully we'll be able to 
uh, you know, loot some waters from the trader. Okay, let's make sure we have... Uh, here, let's make some more arrows. Have enough stamina, and let's get... Let's take Marlene out here. Really? Oh, I hate this bow. Let's put that down. There we go. Got a nice little sneak damage bonus. Okay, now what we're going to do is put a bleed on her. Oh, and she's dead. Okay. Well, there you go. We'll grab that stuff. Let's go pick our bedroll up and grab this. Okay, we'll move towards the trader. Uh, looks like we also have a, a passing gas there too. Okay, good. So, uh, like we did set this up for um, lots of wilderness POIs to compensate for the fact that we're not going to be spending a lot of time in towns. And I do want this chicken too. We need him to stop. There he is. Okay. Well, now he's moving again. We might as well hit this car whilst we're over here. Uh, where are you, dude? Okay. He keeps running in and out of the grass, so I can't see him very well. And we got a duffel bag over there as well. Okay, let's check this. Come on, give us some water. All right, well, we'll take a chamois sandwich. All right, let's check the automobile. Um, There we go. We already got an, an upgrade. That will probably end up selling in... Um... We might sell those just because there we don't have anything that we can use those on right now. And we could use the coin. Okay, let's move over towards the trader. It looks like it's a trader wreck, which is actually a good thing from a farming standpoint. We'll take that. Um, let's grab any and all plastic that we can come across for our dew collector. You know, that is one consideration, too, that we're going to have to figure out is if we have an underground base, um, you know, the dew collector scenario. There's a coal. Ooh. There's a camp here, which means there's probably some sleepers in that camp. So let's skirt it for now. You know what else might be in that camp, though, is a, um, a cooking pot. All right, tell you what we're going to do. Let's lay this down over here. <clears throat> and let's just kind of see what we might be able to see over here. We got uh, formerly known as Spider Zombie over here. Uh, let's deal with him. Okay, he's got a bleed on him. And he's dead. Okay. Good. Uh, oh, shoot. There's an egger. Eh. All right, let's go back over by the camp. Edgar's... Edgar hits hard. Um, so he's dangerous from that standpoint, but he's also easy to outrun. Darlene, she's over there. She's pretty fast, so she's dangerous because of her speed. Uh, not seeing any zombies here. We got 
wood lantern and a fireplace and some plastic. Oh, there's a crawler in the tent. All right, we can handle that. Let's just put a bleed on him. We don't want him to hit us. Okay, he's dead. All right. Um, Darlene's getting kind of close. Maybe we should try and deal with her too, I suppose. Oh, really? <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. <clears throat> this bow not only has a, a really terrible trajectory, but it also shoots from side to side sometimes. Yeah, she's really fast. Get her while she's down. Okay, run. Okay, good. The bleed got her. Whew, okay, that's scary, man. <laughs> it's so scary in the early game. I uh, don't see anything in here. Let's get this for the plastic. I don't suppose there would be a... Oh, we can't do anything with that anyway. Uh, Yeah, might as well collect the cloth. Okay, it is noon, so we got to get to the trader and get stuff taken care of over there. Uh, Yeah, that's that Edgar over there. Okay. Oh, is this Trader Bob or is it wrecked? I think this is, uh, oh, this is Bob. Okay. He's probably the worst trader for us to find from the standpoint of, you know, he's the engine guy, <laughs> but he's got a lot of loot though. Um, okay. So let's just start here at the helicopter place. We can't break anything. Um, and start seeing if we can loot whatever we can. And then we'll sell his stuff back to him. And uh, hopefully we'll come across some water jars and hopefully we'll be able to find a cooking pot in here. Uh, forge a headbutt. Very good. Uh, so now we can make the, we have the skills to make the dew collector. Another forge a head. Nice. Okay, we'll take that. Nope, we can't pick anything up or break anything. You are outside, so we don't care about you. Uh, is this something we can... Yeah, we can go in here. We'll check the trash. Can't uh, do anything with that stuff. We'll, we'll grab all the gasoline we can, and hopefully we can just sell that to him. Did we look in here? Yeah, we did. All right. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the Zeeks right now. They can just stay outside. through here. Hopefully we'll get a, enough gas that, you know, he'll buy it from us. Because if you don't have enough, then he won't buy a small amount. There's nothing up there. Okay. More trash. We'll be keeping the seeds. Uh, and we'll be keeping the pipes to make our, our first pipe gun. There we go. That's lootable. Ah, oh, nice. We found a water. Beautiful. Okay. Good stuff there. Some clothing for us. Nice. Look at that. All right. We got our nerdy glasses already. Water, hopefully. Nope. That was toilet paper. Can't break this thing, but we can go in here. Grab stuff for selling. Okay, we got 11 forged iron. That's going to come in handy. Uh, did we check uh, this? No, we did not. Let's 
Some more clay. Potato seeds. Okay, we got all that. This is another place to live. I think that we should sell for now. Because I'm sure we'll come across it again. Uh, more water and some boots. Those we will put on. And scrap those. And I think that's it for in here. Nice. Very nice. Uh, did we go in here? I don't think we went in here. Oh, yeah, we did go in here, but we did not go up here. Refrigerator. And some pears. Okay, sewing kit's good. We need that for abrasion, or no, lacerations. Another toity. With toilet paper. Some books. What do we get? Uh, again, we're going to sell that for now. We'll come across it again, I'm sure. Are these not lootable shoes? Apparently not. Okay, let's go up here. I uh, don't see anything up here that we can loot. And we were already down in here. <clears throat> I don't think we went back in this place. Mushroom spores. Garage storage. Okay. All stuff we can sell. This goes up here. School bus is not lootable, but we have some food. Very good. And a cooler. All right. Let's see. We do not want this. Well, maybe we should hang on to that so we can make our first crop plot or farm plot. Is there anything up here? There's a tire, but I don't see anything lootable up there. Okay. You know what? I don't think I I don't think I went in this place the last time we uh when I came across this on our experimental playthrough. Tools digest and medical. Some more cloth in there. We can't pick up that candle. Alright, very good. Okay, I think we've uh well we, have, we haven't looted the orange minivan. Nice. We're like massively encumbered now. But that's okay because we're going to sell stuff. So yeah, we started at the helicopter landing pad. And I think we've gone full circle now. Is there anything on this excavator that's lootable? doesn't appear to be okay chemistry station with some wood in it nice we got some glue we're gonna need that for duct tape and making our first pipe weapon I think that's it all right let's go inside let us speak, survivor. More water for us. Good. We just need that. Um, we already have BDUs, so we're going to sell this. Except for we don't have any room. So. I think we came out here earlier. We can't do anything about that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take a look here so we want to sell this um we want to sell this those if he'll buy them okay if he won't we're gonna chuck those for now will you buy this gas okay we're checking that for now not gonna hang on to the sand 
I'll sell the nails and then let's scrap the rest of those. These, this we're going to get rid of. We'll sell this light. Um, the money, the paper. He doesn't want four paper. Okay, we're checking that. We'll sell the headlight. This and this and those. Thanks for shopping okay, let's here. Let's grab these jeans and sell sell him his own jeans. Since we have the BDUs. And that gives us 685 coin. Now, actually, that's right. The traders now have a cooking pot. Look at that. We have just enough to buy that sucker, too. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Because uh, we need it. Uh, we, If we don't find a cooking grill, we'll come back and grab that from him later on when we can afford to do so. All right. Let's see. He restocks on day four. I just want to see what else he has real quick here. He's got some magazines. We're going to need one of these, of course, for our due collector. So we'll uh, be shooting towards that or aiming towards that. Got an anvil and a bellows, but that's out of our reach at the moment. He's got a nice pipe rifle, a yellow one. So we'll keep that in mind. Okay. It's been a real pleasure. You watch yourself out there. Oh, you know what? We didn't go through here, did we? Here, let's get the torch out because it's dark. It is dark. That's just sand. Really? Seriously, man? Just sand? Okay. Probably no point in looting that. Got our first lockpick. I mean, we could try that lockpick on... Is this lootable at all? No, this is, though. We could try that lockpick on the ATM machine he has. I think that's all that we can loot in here. There's nothing up there. Nothing around that corner either. Okay. Let's try it. We have nothing to lose except for a lockpick. Oh, man. I thought we were going to have it. Oh, that was so doggone close. All right. Well, it is what it is. All right. A couple more things to sell to you. You probably don't want sand, do you? Nope. Uh, we'll sell those nails again and scrap the other ones. Uh, the money. Um... Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to hang on to those repair kits, I suppose. Uh, we don't need to carry the brass with us. Not at this point in time, anyways. Do you want this? Oh, he bought a little bit of coal. How about that? Um, Yeah, we don't need that for now. Doesn't want the gas. And I think that's, I think that's it. Okay, cool. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. I wonder if we should, you know what we could do is we could maybe do his tier one jobs because he'll give us an air filter as one of the rewards at the end of that. Let's see. This one is pretty close. I've got a job Skeeter's for place. No yeah. matter what, okay. I'm great. Um, like I said, I'm not planning on on heavily focusing on, on doing jobs. We we will do some. Uh, it's not against the rules, but it might behoove us to to at least get through the, the Tier 1 quests so that we can get that water filter as a reward. Uh, but we have seven waters, um, so once we get, you know, get our initial base going and uh, you know, get the campfire set up. We we should be okay in that regard, and we're not in super bad shape water wise. It looks like we're clear out this way. All right, now uh, what I want to do is we left our bedroll over here, didn't we? Let's go grab that. That's right over here. 
There was an Edgar over here, so I have to be mindful of that. That's a Marlene. Okay. Let's kill her. Hit the, the boulder. That hit the boulder too. Man, the drop on these arrows are terrible. The primitive bows do get noticeably better at higher levels though. So, okay, she did. Uh, we are just a little over halfway to our next point, which is great. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Let's crouch. Let's take a look at the map and see if we can kind of get a sense for where we are. So. So right about here is in the center. And we know that there's going to be desert and wasteland there. And then if we go up to, yeah, so this is right around the center of the map. So that means we are starting out in the southwest uh, corner of the map. There's business guy. Okay, let's kill him. Let the bleed work on him. Keep our stamina up. And get our arrow from him. I don't want to take on Skater Punk. He's a little tougher. So let's try and avoid him for now. All right, so where to live we need we're gonna need to make ourselves a okay it's time for us to drink i'm just gonna drink both of those right now let's eat both of these right now what is this okay we'll save the chicken ration for later we'll eat the chili and the pears and um we we can make if we have to we can make charred meat too but hopefully we can get to the point where we can make grilled meat as soon as possible because it doesn't take our thirst away. All right. So where to live? That's the question. Uh, my thought was that we would just burrow into, you know, the side of a mountain and uh, maybe doing that right next to the trader probably makes sense. We are going to need to make ourselves a shovel. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. What a time is it? It's 1550. Oh, shoot. Who's this? It's Bo. Not good. Okay, let's get a little ways away from him and then just walk to get our stamina back and let the bleed work on him. Bo's a little bit tougher and he's pretty fast, so he's dangerous. Okay, good. The bleed took him out. Beautiful. Um. All right, so I think... I think, yeah, let's just go behind the trader and burrow into that hillside. And, you know, like I said earlier, this is not necessarily going to be our permanent base. It's just what we're going to start with. And it might turn out to be our permanent base. I mean, we might do a nice elaborate underground setup. We'll see. But I'm trying to get to a... A fairly steep part of the hill. Let's grab this. Nice. What do we get? A repair tool. Okay. Our the first step on our way towards a hammer. We also have the ability to eat raw eggs as a food source in the early game. So that also can work in our favor. 
Okay, so this gets fairly steep going up through here. Um, I don't really want to fight Zeke's on a steep hillside, though, either. There's a, a rabbit. Okay, well, why don't we just start our tunnel right here? Maybe... Hmm. I would have liked to have gone due south, though, but... All right, let's move over this way a little more. We have a Ronald McDonald over here, but hes I don't think he's super fast. So he should be a relatively easy kill. Let's plop that down just in case. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, let's get back a little ways. Keep our stamina maintained. Let the blade work on him. Very good. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go up on the road here where we kind of have that bank. I think that'll actually work good for us. Uh oh, we don't want to mess with him. No, sir. He'll he will take way too much of our time and ammo to kill. He's right where I want to go. So what we're gonna do though is see if we can distract him with some thrown stones. Um I guess I want him to go off that way. So let's come up this way. And we want you to bugger off down into that little valley that way. There he goes. Okay. Okay, good. There's a Steve. Steve is kind of fast, but he's he's a threat to us, so we need to deal with him now. Cuz he's we're going to dig in right at this bank here. All right, he thumped us once, took 25% of our health down. Oh, okay. So let's burrow in uh, right here. It's probably as good of a place as any. But I saw a rabbit down there. Uh, but again, we want to, I want to go to the south. So we're on a, well, or we could go to the east. So, just we're, so we're on a cardinal direction. Yeah, let's go to the east. Okay, here we go. This is going to take a while. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a hatch down. Um, that should work. Yeah, because that's stone right above the hatch. 
And then what if zombies, you know, come in, we have wood and cobblestone to keep the stone and the, the hatch repaired as we fight them off. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to uh, burrow back, uh, further back into the mountain a ways. Because uh, I don't want to be right at the entrance. I want to be back a ways. And start carving out a place for us to, you know, lay down the bedroll, get the campfire started, and, and basically, you know, the first chamber of our underground base here. Uh, but we are out of time for this episode. So what I think we'll do is pick up um, in the next episode, the morning of day two. I'll be, uh, I'll, I'm just, what I'm going to do for night one, because we have feral sense on, so I'm just going to hunker down and not make any noise at all. But I want to be a little bit deeper in before that happens. Um, and then in in the morning, if I don't get the chamber carved out before nightfall, I'll finish that and then I'll start the next episode once I have the chamber carved out and we start to set up our little base. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. I'm excited to um, start this new series, do it a little bit different, you know, than the normal playthrough here on Alpha 21 uh, Stable. So... But with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.